Hey party people, today on Shea Goes Keto, we're making a keto meatloaf with the cheese sauce, my keto cheese sauce. So first we're going to start off by sauteing some bell pepper and onions. I'm using the um, frozen ones from Trader Joe's, but I kind of defrosted them. So I'm going to be heating them up in a little olive oil. Actually, this is avocado oil. And sauteing them for about seven, seven to ten minutes on a medium heat. I'm going to add a little salt to this so they can sweat. And then stir them around and just cook for, like I said, about seven to ten minutes. It depends on your the size of your pan and your heat. So this is what everything looks like after it's cooked. I've already turned off the heat, stirring them around. And the larger chunks, I just smashed a little, like cut them up with my spatula, well, my scooping spoon that I'm using, and I put, put them aside so they can cool off. So this is what I have. I have some heavy cream that'll be going into my meatloaf and some pork rinds. So right now I'm going to be adding one egg to the um, cream mixture and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. How do you say it? Worcestershire? I say Worcestershire. Anyways, I'm going to be stirring this around just a little bit, maybe a minute, so it can get kind of thick but not too thick. I'm not trying to make whipped cream here. And I'm adding in some pork rinds. I smashed them really well. And now I have some seasonings, some garlic, smoked paprika, some pepper, um, a little salt. I noticed the salt started to dissolve next to the garlic, so I'll add a little more later. I'm mixing in the, um, the cream now, adding in some pepper black pepper and some more salt. And now I'll just mix everything thoroughly. Oh, I forgot the um, bell pepper and onion mixture. So now you mix everything thoroughly. I'm not using my hands. Ground turkey is a little too delicate, so I'm using a spoon. Mix it enough, mix it until it's well, but not too much. And then I'll take you over to my stove and we'll put this in the, um, the pan I'm using. I've already greased this pan with olive oil and now I'm placing all the mixture, all of it, in, the, um, in my loaf pan. Just trying to make sure everything's even so it'll cook evenly. This looks beautiful. So now we're going to bake uncovered on 375 degrees for 45 minutes. And this is what it looks like once I took it out. 10 minutes before this was completely done, I went ahead and poured out some of the um, oil and the moisture and put it back. Now this is the keto cheese sauce. I will be uploading a video on how I make my keto cheese sauce. So I'm not topping this with gravy or a ketchup mixture. I'm going straight keto with this. So. I'm going to um, add about a quarter of the mixture first and then spread it on and then another quarter of the mixture. So out of the entire mixture, I'm only using half, but you'll see that in the recipe that video that I upload next. Or if you have a keto cheese mixture, you can use that. And this is how this looks. I ended up getting about six servings. You can see I cut this in six pieces. It was decadent and rich and flavorful, and that's it. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Bye.